Hello, VEA beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee, and I am a Juilliard-trained opera singer. Do not forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you would like to see more reactions to this artist or group. And don't forget to check out the links in my description for perks, benefits, and behind the scenes you don't want to miss. All of my reactions are created live on Twitch during our live stream, so I hope I'll see you at the next one. But for now, let's get into this reaction. Here we go! And now, we were talking about this on Discord, so here it is. Well, thank you, Mike. This is Weird Al Yankovic, The Saga Begins. Oh boy, I'm excited to see this. This is gonna be something special. Something very, very special. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Mike. Guys, let me know what you like and what you don't like. And Mike, let us know if there's anything else we need to know. Let's do it. Here we go. And like I said before, if anybody else wants to send in a Star Wars reaction to skip the line, now is your chance. Let's do it. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, oh Naboo boy. was under an attack. And I thought me and Qui-Gon Jinn could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. A little slack. Who does he sound Their like? Their response, it didn't thrill us. They locked the doors and tried to kill us. What does he sound like? Oh! He sounds like Don McLean, but nasally. Doesn't he sound like Don McLean a little bit? It's a Billy Joel parody. Ah, I see. Piano Man? Yes. He literally sounds like Don McLean with a nasal touch on his voice. Hilarious. Love it. Under an attack. And I thought me and Qui -Gon Jinn oh, so it is a Don McLean parody? I don't know what this is. Yep, you got it. Don. Maggie knows her singers. <laughs> okay, let's keep on listening because it sounds exactly like Don McLean, but like I said. Far away, Naboo was under an attack. Oh, American Pie? I thought me and Qui Gon Jin oh. could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. Oh, but you can tell everybody. Their response, it didn't thrill us. Sounds like your song by Elton they John, too. They locked the doors and tried to kill us. We escaped from that gas and met Jar Jar in Boss Nass. We took a bongo from the scene and we went to feed to see the queen. We all wound up on tattooing. That's where we found this boy. Oh my, my, this here Anakin guy Maybe Vader someday later Now he's just a small fry <laughs> He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye Saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi <laughs> Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi Did you know this junkyard slave isn't even old enough to shave? But he can use the force, they say. How do you see him hitting on the queen? Though he's just nine and she's 14. Yeah, he's probably gonna marry her someday. Well, I know he built C-3PO. And I've heard how fast his pot can go. And we were broke, it's true. Okay, not a huge fan of the nasally quality to his voice. I feel like he could do a little bit less, but that's not my business. That's just my opinion. Um, the thing that I do love is his diction. He's so clear on every single word that he's saying. It's very important for a parody kind of a thing because you need to hear the lyrics and you need to understand each one of them. So hearing him say them very clearly and being able to understand what he's saying is very, very awesome. I love that. Let's keep on listening. And yes, the band is phenomenal. I really like the band. Well, I knew who would win no. the first place. 
Yeah, that's good. It was our boys. Our boys. Frankly, would have liked to stay. We all fought in that epic war, and it wasn't long at all before Little Hot Shot flew his plane and saved the day. And in the end, some Gungans died, some ships blew up, and some pilots fried. A lot of folks were croaking, the battle droids were broken. I love the way that he's just like, the battle droids were broken. Like people dying, people frying, and, and he's like, <laughs> he's funny. I like this. This is so creative. I can't even imagine. This is just, it's so creative to be able to write music, that write lyrics to music that already exists and about the storyline that like you have to be, I don't know, accurate-ish and, and all of that kind of stuff. Like it's just, you have specific words that you need to use and specific words that you don't need to use. And just, I don't know, there's so many little parameters in there, but it's really cool. He did a great job with this. And in the end, some Gungans died. Gungans died. Ships blew up and some pilots fried. A lot of folks were croaking. The battle droids were broken. And the Jedi I admire most Met up with Darth Maul and now he's toast Well, I'm still here and he's a ghost I guess I'll train this boy And I was singing My, my, this here Anakin guy Maybe Vader someday later Now he's just a small fry And he left it I'm gonna be a Jedi Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi We were singing My, my, this here Anakin guy Maybe Vader someday later Now he's just a small fry And he left his home And kissed his mommy goodbye Saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi <laughs> that is so crazy. Wow. What a cool, awesome, creative kind of a thing to do. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. He did such a great job with this. And I mean, I love the fact that he's using costumes. I like the fact that he's, you know, just staying true to kind of what Star Wars is. But he also makes it funny. And like, I don't know. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Oh, my gosh. Alfred Matthew Yankovic, known professionally as Weird Al Yankovic, is an American musician, comedian, satirist, 
for satirist and actor. He is best known for writing and performing comedy songs that parody that often parody specific songs by contemporary musicians. He also performs original songs that are style pastiches of the work of other acts, as well as polka medleys of several par- popular songs, most of which feature his trademark accordion. Since having one of his comedy songs aired on the Dr. Demento radio show in 1976 at age 16, Yankovic has sold more than 12 million albums. Oh my gosh. Um, let me see. Recorded more than 150 parodies and original songs and performed more than 1,000 live shows. His work has earned him five Grammy Awards and a further 11 nominations, four gold records and six platinum records in the U.S. His first top 10 Billboard album, Straight Outta Linwood, and re- single White and Nerdy were both released in... Uh, 2006. Is White and Nerdy uh, a parody of uh, Rotten Dirty, whatever that is? We were both released in uh, 2006, nearly three decades into his career. His latest album, Mandatory Fun, became his first number one album during its debut week. Yankovic's success has been attributed to his effective use of music videos to further parody pop culture. The song's original artists and the original music videos themselves, scene for scene in some cases, he directed later videos himself and went on to direct for other artists, including Ben Folds, Hanson, the Black Crows, and the Presidents of the United States of America. With the decline of music television and the onset of social media, he used YouTube and other video sites to publish his videos. This strategy helped boost sales of his later albums. Yankovic has stated that he may forego traditional albums in favor of timely releases of singles from the 2010s onward. In addition to his music career, Yankovic wrote and starred in the film UHF and the television series The Weird Alge the weird al show he has produced two satirical films about his own life the complete ai and the weird ai yankovic story he has acted in several television shows and web series in addition to starring in ai tv specials on mtv um he has also written two children's book when i grow up and my new teacher and me oh my gosh all righty riding dirty right Literally riding dirty, gonna catch me riding dirty. That's what it is. You see me so nice, me but don't in and try to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty. That's the song. That's like my childhood. Oh my gosh. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Thank you so very, very much to Mike for sending in this amazing video. This was so fun to watch. Mike, you are amazing, and I appreciate it tremendously. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see another one of my reactions to this artist or group, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what video I should watch next. Also, be sure to join us on Twitch for our weekly live streams of music, reactions, and more. Don't forget to check out the links down below in my description for exclusive behind the scenes perks and benefits. I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. And I will see you in the next video. Mm